What's up, everybody? So I want to talk to you guys about dropshipping because people sometimes get scared like it's going to go away or if it's dead. And you can go to YouTube and search for is dropshipping dead 2015? Is dropshipping dead 2016? Is dropshipping dead 2017? Is dropshipping dead 2018? And you're going to get hits for every single year. And you know why that is? It's because you cannot actually kill dropshipping. And I'm gonna to explain to you why. But before I do that, let me give you some context by reading a comment on a video recently that's gonna help kind of explain this. Because this is a really common opinion that you're about to read. And it's something that a lot of people say, but it's just not really true, okay? So here we go. According to upper management, eBay will automatically be eliminating all or most dropshippers at some point over the 2019 year. All dropshippers will be flagged and removed accordingly, even for the most simplistic kind of violation that gives it reason to do so legally. Why? Because dropshippers saturate and flood and inundate the product pages with the same items over and over again, making it difficult and confusing for potential customers to locate a specific product. Also, customers are not receiving the attention required according to eBay standards. Refunds are not made, insurmountable fraudulent activity takes place, and customers are not getting the products that they had purchased, among other nefarious things. This in its totality gives dropshipping a bad name and eBay suffers the consequences in the long run because of customer dissatisfaction. So this is a really common opinion and it's great. It's a great opinion to have if you don't like dropshippers or you want to give up dropshipping and you're trying to justify you not being able to earn income. So then you convince yourself that it's not worth the time. It's easier to accept that you stopped doing something that could bring you money because it wasn't worth the time than it is to justify that you stopped doing it even though it is an actual opportunity. For most people, you're going to find that they don't stop doing things and admit that it is an opportunity that they failed to act upon. People would much rather convince themselves that the opportunity doesn't exist in the first place for whatever reason, right? The reality is you cannot kill dropshipping. And let me explain why, okay? Dropshipping is an opportunity for people all over the world. It's an opportunity to make money in a lot of countries where the US dollar goes incredibly far. eBay can shake things up. They can change it. They can try and get rid of dropshippers. And yeah, it's true that they could get rid of most dropshippers for a temporary period of time. But this is not a battle that can ever, ever be won. No matter what eBay does, people will figure out the system and they will figure out how to dropship products on eBay because eBay is a global marketplace with traffic. If there is a global marketplace with traffic, it will be drop shipped. That is like the basic law of, of online e-commerce. eBay cannot prevent drop shippers from using its platform. But I don't think that eBay actually understands this. So it is true that eBay's shaking things up. Now they have a system to identify drop shippers and flag them. But the reality is dropshippers are just going to learn to game this system. Dropshippers are going to learn to make new accounts. There's a such thing as disposable revolving accounts on eBay, right? And so let me explain this concept because if you can use disposable revolving accounts, no matter what eBay thinks, you can always use their platform. Even if you're using it for fraud, actual fraud. Like, and there's nothing that eBay can do about this. And so I just want to, I want to do this video because it's kind of funny how you see over the years, you see the same kind of regurgitated opinions coming out. And the reality is like, there is opportunity online to sell stuff. It's going to change like one system that worked a year or two ago or five years ago won't work anymore. That's completely true. But... We're acting like there's no ability to make a new system, to learn what the current market is and to game it, to figure out how to get those sales. The, the, un the unfortunate reality for eBay is that it's impossible to get rid of dropshippers. And to give you some perspective on this, let's look at Amazon as an example. Amazon's terms of service directly prohibits dropshipping. Also, you don't, you can't use PayPal with drop, with, with, uh, Amazon. 
Also, you don't get your payments straight away from Amazon. You only receive them every two weeks. Also, if there is a suspension, you don't see any of your money for months, okay? These are huge detriments, like huge reasons to not get involved, right? Yet dropshipping on Amazon is one of the most lucrative places that you can dropship. And I really want you guys to understand this because you, and I, I get that like I teach people about dropshipping. And so those of you out there will be like, oh no, he's just a, he's, he, it's in my best interest to talk to people about dropshipping. And that's true, it is. But I also, I want you guys to understand that like, it isn't accurate to think that dropshipping can die. Like a specific strategy of dropshipping can absolutely become not viable. And there are tons of gurus out there who are teaching you things that don't work anymore. So I think that it is very good that you have that healthy mistrust. But to say that dropshipping is actually going to be eliminated or dead, it's not realistic. That's not the way that the world works. And it's actually quite similar to the war on drugs in the United States. I know that's kind of a, maybe a, 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 quite a leap to a lot of you, but I'm going to talk about it because of the similarities that they have. For example, drugs are sketchy. Makes sense to make them illegal so that people don't do them. Punish them harshly, right? Yet the reality is there's a huge opiate epidemic, epidemic in the States. Drugs and legislation prohibiting drugs are not an effective way of preventing drug use. And this has been documented thoroughly throughout history. Anytime a country has completely prohibited alcohol, there have been really long-term bad effects, and it often increases the crime associated with alcohol. Over, all over the world, people are, countries are legalizing marijuana and other drugs because countries understand now that in order to control something, you have to regulate it. You can't just ban something and expect that that is actually going to fix the problem. History shows us that that isn't true. And the same is true for dropshipping. If eBay really wanted to control the dropshipping problem on their platform, they would allow dropshipping but intensely regulate it. Charge dropshippers more or whatever, they would, eBay would work with dropshippers within certain parameters to be able to dropship on their platform in a way that minimizes the negative effect on the customer experience. The reality is, I don't think eBay is ever going to do that. eBay is constantly going to do what they're doing now, where they're trying to get rid of dropshippers, and the reality is, like, they're going to keep the dropshippers who have a good customer service experience because they're earning money from them. They're not going to get rid of those people. There's no reason to. eBay is a machine, it's a business. That's not how it works. If they were gonna do that, they would have just outright made dropshipping illegal on their platform. And again, this wouldn't get rid of dropshipping. All this would do is set it to be underground. Even in a situation where you're not allowed to dropship, eBay cannot instantly know you're dropshipping. It takes them a bit of time to catch on, right? So. In a situation where you have revolving disposable accounts, you can literally create a store, have it up and running for two weeks, and then have it just destroyed and remade over and over and over again with different people's information, with different credentials. There is no way that eBay can thoroughly fight that. It's true that they can make it so that it's harder to drop ship now, but the reality is Dropshipping information is easier and easier to acquire. There are a lot of individuals now who disseminate and spread dropshipping information. As soon as eBay makes a change, it only takes one to two years for access to information to mitigate that change to be commonplace. No matter what eBay does, even if they were to make it completely outright banned, Dropshipping on eBay will always be a thing. You can't get rid of dropshippers any more than you could get rid of spammers or scammers or anything that exists because of opportunity and on anonymity on the internet. So I'm not saying that it's, it doesn't get easier or harder because it absolutely does. There are certain years where drop, it's easier to make money dropshipping and other years where it's much harder to make money dropshipping. 
but it's a balance and it's an opportunity that constantly exists. And the reality is if eBay gets rid of most drop shippers, that just means that those who are still there have an easier time making money. It becomes even more lucrative for the people who managed to not get caught. And then it's only a matter of time before the information allowing you to not get caught is commonplace. There's nothing that eBay can do to get rid of dropshipping. They could only regulate it, but they're probably never gonna do that. Honestly, I don't think so. I think they're gonna go down this path and they, they probably won't ever actually ban dropshipping, but they're just gonna make it kind of, kind of back and forth, right? The reality is eBay doesn't have one opinion on anything. And there also is no preventative communication with eBay. If you know something's gonna be a problem and you tell them, it doesn't matter because eBay's made of thousands and thousands of different employees, all with different opinions and perspectives. And you can always just call them back and ask the same question and get a different answer. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.